You're watching The Isaiah Factor, Uncensored. And welcome back to the second half of The Factor Uncensored. We're coming up on five years since Hurricane Harvey absolutely kicked Houston's ass. And we're still talking about getting people the help they need to fix their homes. And as we recently found out, federal government officials say discrimination played a role in people not getting some of the relief money they needed. The U.S. Department of Housing and Urban Development, HUD, dropped the bomb yesterday, stating that the Texas General Land Office discriminated against people of color when distributing those relief funds. The state was given $1.3 billion in federal disaster relief, and even though Houston was hard hit, we got zero here. Stay GLO. And joining us here on The Factor Uncensored is Congresswoman Sheila Jackson Lee. Congresswoman, were you surprised by the report from HUD indicating that the Texas General Land Office uh, discriminated against black and brown communities in favor of white communities when they dispersed the funds for Hurricane Harvey relief? Well, everyone was harmed in that catastrophic storm, one of the most historic and deadly or devastating storms uh, in the United States history. And really, a GLO should not have played the games that it did because people were hurting all over. But the blatant discrimination that was evidenced against a communities of colors, particularly African-Americans, could not be ignored. And so uh, I am grateful that HUD saw this clear discrimination that all of us saw. But it's even worse than that. The formula they used was so biased. They didn't allow uh, parts of Houston or Houston or communities that were severely impacted by Hurricane Harvey that were designated by HUD to even apply for 50% of the funds. Uh, and they didn't use the impacted areas where 90% of the people lived who were impacted, who happened to be African-Americans, who happened to be in parts of my district as well. And so uh, it couldn't be helped but to, in HUD's review, because of the paperwork, and because of the evidence, find discrimination. Discrimination is real, uh, and they found it. Now, HUD says uh, they will turn this over to the Justice Department if the problem isn't solved. How likely do you think or do you foresee uh, the GLO solving this problem? Well, you know, I've been working on this since 2018, and it intensified over 2020, 2019, 2021 and wrote letters asking GLO to GLO to correct this immediately uh, and to provide me with a report. I have pages and pages of documents uh, that I communicate to GLO. But right now, they've got the heavy hand of the federal government, the United States Department of Housing and Urban Development, uh, that has indicated that there may be some severe penalties for them not remedying this problem immediately. The absolute absurdity was that they insisted on giving $800 million to Harris County, and I don't fault Harris County at all, and zero in those dollars to Houston. The mayor and city council members and others have repeatedly asked how could this be, and they did not respond. But now they have, again, the heavy hand of the federal law, uh, and they must redo this. There are other small cities that receive funding. We have no disagreement with them. Some of them I represent, but they know that to create that imbalance, they had to skew the formula to give dollars to small cities that didn't have the impact that was here in Houston, Texas. So I just want fairness for everyone. I remember going out to the far west of Houston and seeing the damage. I know the pain is everywhere. And as a member of Homeland Security Department, I want, excuse me, of the committee uh, and working with HUD as well, I want fairness. So the answer is, you do not want to fool around with the U.S. Department of Justice. GLO has faulted, defaulted. They have been found at fault, and they need to remedy it immediately. And they cannot overcome the fact that they conspicuously discriminated against the people living in the highly impacted areas, which are people living in Houston, and many of them African Americans. Now, a spokesperson for the General Land Office, which is headed by George P. Bush, who's also running for attorney general right now, accuses HUD of politicizing flood mitigation efforts and in a statement says it's considering all options to release funding. 